Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hi everyone, my name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. Welcome to our channel where independent stamping up demonstrate our space in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosacrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Stamping Glam Squad and the Global Creative Project, which is a PDF and video tutorial. Uh, you can purchase previous tutorial bundles from our website, um, which is available on there, and the current ones are uh, bundles to die for um, everything ombre from Stamping Glam Squad and the Blessings of Home from the Global Creative Project. And for this month, uh, it is free choice with celebration from the Global Creative Project and bundles to die for by the Stamping Glam Squad. Uh, if you'd love to see more card making and paper craft inspiration using Stampin' Up products, don't forget that hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Um, and you'll be able to comment during the live as well. And for a chance to win one of the projects that we create during the live stream via a random draw. So, um, so yes, yeah, so let's say hello to those of you who have joined us already. Um, and we'll, you'll be put into the random draw at the end. Uh, we have Connie, hello, Pat, the Bling Bling Crafter, Betty H, hiya, John, Slaniki, Janelle, Mandy, hello. Um, we have Valerie, Janice, who else? <laughs> Judy, hiya Judy, Sandra, Thea, Mindy P, Maureen, we also have Amanda, Nani Shasha, <laughs> Lavinia, and Teresa, Susan, Wendy, and... Darcy, hello Darcy, Catherine, Monroe, Krista, hiya Krista, we also have Caroline, Gian, hello Gian, it bumped, <laughs> where did you go, <laughs> oh that was a long jump, that was a long jump, uh, we have Sylvia, Susan, did you Stampin say Susan, Sue, yeah, uh, Stampin Sue creates, uh, we also have Linda, Kathy Clark, Debbie, who else? Wendy, I think I've already said. Brenda, <laughs> who? Ooh. Sorry, we're late. It was Mars' fault, not mine. Excuse me. <laughs> Caroline, <laughs> Sylvia, and Gina, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Um, and Sherry, Donna. Dana, wow, loads, and yes, I think that's everyone. San, hello, San, thank you so Excellent. much. Lovely, so thank you all so much for joining us, and thank you for giving Jay a uh, bit of a tongue work out there. Um, yes, thank you all. So, we're going to um, do a draw for a winner's card, which isn't actually on the table right here, right now. So, um, so I don't we'll know go into the draw and then I'll bring it out. Yes. Um, so we will be winning Jay's second card, which he made on Sunday, and we'll show you what you'll be winning in a moment once we've got it here. But we'll do the draw first, so we'll go over to that, and um, we will get that ready. So let me just um, see if there's any more comments. There was a couple more comments gone in there, so good. So good luck, everyone. And the winner of Jay's second card is going to be Sherry Setchell. Sherry, congratulations. congratulations. So please message us, Sherry. Um, sh at, yes. <laughs> I'll get that. Email us, please, with your message there. Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 16th of um, January 2022, and your full mailing address in the body of the email. And we will send this card to you sherry great yeah, i think it's pretty yeah i love this card it's really really nice so yeah i just like what you've done with the ribbon there as well i think it's lovely so congratulations Jeanette. congratulations put my teeth in <laughs> congratulations sherry that card is yours well done 
All right, so we're going to crack on with tonight's demonstration. So I'm going to be doing something. So you're going to have me this evening, um, and I'm going to be casing, actually, two of Jay's cards. So you may have seen them already. They were what we did for the Gentleman Crafters blog hop on Friday, just gone. And obviously, and I, I, they're nice. We we haven't got a video for them, so the pictures and the instruction or tutorial is on the... Have you written a tutorial for them, Jay, did you say? on the website or some kind of brief description of how it's made. The second one is for the Inspire the Great with stumping up Instagram. Okay. All right. So they're, they're on their blog and on the, on the Instagram as well. So have a little look at those. Check them out if you want to see some more and save some pictures. But we're going to do a video, obviously do the video for them today. Now, the interesting thing is that I actually haven't made these. So I'm kind of like casing this um, and trying to work it out. And obviously with the, with the help of Jay and... Um, with his input and telling me kind of what to do. So this is kind of a, a case, I'm, I'm casing Jay, really. So, and this is what you can do if you're, when you see something, uh, I would like to make that and then you can then go ahead and you can case it as well. So we're gonna be using the lovely Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. Once again, right here, we've used this quite a bit actually. But to be honest with you, it's the first time I've actually used it. Jay's used this one quite a lot, but I, this is the first time of me actually playing with it. So the rainbow. Haven't crafted I haven't crafted. I've really lost my. I've, if I'm completely honest with you, I've I've really lost my crafting mojo. I've, because I've, you've been going to the gym. Maybe. Yeah, I've my, my 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 focus has moved to the gym. I'm I'm afraid, and so I'm I've run out of time to do stuff. Um. So on page 18 in the catalogue, you will have the happiness rainbow of happiness um stamp set, and the brilliant rainbow dies individual or if you buy them together as a bundle you can go with the rainbow of happiness bundle here and you can save yourself 10 percent. so you can get the stamp set and the dies together and save yourself a little bit of money which is a win-win really isn't it save yourself 10 percent. so that's that and the papers which we're going to be using if i believe so are actually the celebration papers aren't they jay yes they are so these are celebration papers which you can get so if you spend 45 pound or more you can get to pick these lovely papers here free of charge so and they are perfect this bundle here obviously is a perfect price point so you will get these papers free of charge anyway so because the bundle well it's 41.25 so you're going to need to tack you're going to need to tack it up to 45 pound with something else i'm sure you can find some glue or some some gems or something like that which you can then fill in because they've got some lovely shaker cards and I've seen you might have seen a previous video J, J, G, who's G? J did a, a lovely um, shaker card a couple of um, couple of weeks back with this so again so get yourself some gems and you can make yourself a lovely shaker card but this is this lovely paper right here which I think is quite stunning and it's quite beautiful okay so we're going to be making a card using some of this paper and some lovely techniques so I would say get your guesses high tonight because I feel I'm going to probably, well it depends if you're going to, be, if you're going to count me asking Jay for advice on how he did something <laughs> or whether or not you're just going to, for what I actually need. But I'm going to change up the colours ever so slightly and so because I haven't been here this evening because I've been out to the gym I haven't prepared any of this so I don't actually know what I've got in my box. So it's a bit of a box of goodies and um, it's going to be all over the place so please bear with me whilst we have a play. Because you'll be changing the colours. Because I'm changing the colours and everything, yes. So, so you um, don't need these. <laughs> so I'm just having a little look. So I'm going to be using the Fanks as well from the Amazing Fanks dies. So if you haven't seen these already, well, we've used these a few times already, but you've got these lovely Fanks um, and words and Amazing You. I can't remember what that word says right there. What does that one say? You are. You are. And these are the outlines for it. But I'm going to be using the thanks for this one for the sentiment. But this comes with a bundle as well. So you can buy them separately. Or comes with a bundle with the Amazing Silhouettes stamp sets. Which I used previously for a previous Fun Fold Friday. So go and check that one out if you want to have a little look at that one. Um, so good. So I've got my goodies right here. I've got my papers. So Jay has kindly gone ahead and gone and cut me some stuff here as well. And... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's have a little look, shall we? So I've got myself my normal card base cut to size right here, um, which is this one, all right? 
and I've got myself another piece of Whisper Basic Wipes, which is right here, which is just the same width as what I would normally work with, but it's going to be cut a little bit shorter down the bottom down here because I'm going to use an off cut of some designer series paper, which is then going to then go down the bottom like this. So I'm going to just cut this to size my, I'm going to cut this part here to the same size as the width of my card base. which is 14.6, five and three quarters. So I'm just gonna take a little snippet off there. So then that then is going to then match that side like that. So I'm just gonna have a little look. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and stick that straight down. This is gonna be interesting because Jay's probably gonna go, oh, I wouldn't have done it that way first or I'd do it a different way. Um, and we'll see what happens. It, who knows? It may completely change as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and stick this part down straight away. So it creates ourselves just a little bit and then this part then is then going to be the part which then sticks over the top of this but we're going to pop this onto some dimensionals okay so it creates so you can see that it's not actually part of the card if you wanted to keep this as a single layer i suppose you could just do what we've just done here and then you could then be stamping on this part but i think just adding this extra layer on dimensionals in a moment at the end just will just take it to another just take it to another level I've got myself here some um, silver, but I actually want some gold, I think, don't I, Jay? Is that the gold? Um, yeah. Or should I leave it as silver on this one? You can see. I've got silver here. Uh, gold here, so I'll, I'll be bringing it in a sec. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to have the... I'm going to cut this out of some gold, and I'm going to cut the vellum out of some of the thanks as well. Um, but I was, will do some stamping here first. So inside of this, you will not have all of these off cuts. So you can see how much Jay's played with that. So I am going to grab myself some blocks. Thank you. I just now need to work out. So I'm going to grab myself my largest arch. My next arch down. Um, which will. My next one down from that. Yeah, so I, I need all four. I need all four of the arches on this one. And I'm going to grab myself a block. So I'm going to start off with my smallest arch first. This is quite a fun step. Um, and I've got myself some grey. So the colours I'm going to do, because I'm going to kind of coordinate it with the designer series paper, which we've got down here. So we've got Flirty Flamingo, Magenta Madness, and So Saffron. I'm going to start off with a grey one first. Um, so I've got myself some greys right here. So I'm going to go with some Smoky Slate first. And I'm going to kind of stamp this. Actually, I may be better off if I... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to come, just giving myself a bit of a reference point there. So it's around about here. So I'm going to start off with this one here. And first things first. I just want to see how strong this is because I don't know whether or not Jay did a first or a second generation. So I would say it's a first generation. Are they both the same inks, Jay? And just with the first and the second generation? No, basic grey and smoky slate. Oh, is it basic grey first, is it? And then smoky slate. What, that one? Yeah. That's basic grey and that's smoky slate, yeah. But and that's smoky slate. Okay, I thought it was. Um 
had it had it right the first time round. Okay, now we've got a very, very juicy smoky slate. So I'm concerned I'm going to get these bubbles. But hey ho, we're just going to go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this down here like so. And stamp this up. So I've just got my first arch, which has gone in like that. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to clean as I go. And I'm going to go with the second one. Okay, so we've got the next arch up. So it's quite, like I say, it's quite a fun set to use. It's, um, you're going to be able to have a good old play. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this one here in So Saffron now. So, And then we then just pop that one over the top of this one here. Like that. And then clean. take the next one and then I will then take that one in Oops. and break the ink pad at the same time so I do this one now in basic grey now. So we've gone smoky slate, basic grey and then that one gets popped over the top of this one like that. Okay. Um, Susan, no, uh, Susan just asked a question there saying, do, uh, do we find that the rainbows tend to go out of shape since they're photopolymer? Um, I haven't, I haven't seen that happen. Um, I don't know, Jay, have you noticed that at all or things? They shouldn't do. As long as, uh, as long as they go back in, as long as you're not putting them back in the case and they're kind of like spread out like that, and obviously naturally they're going to probably want to go in that position. So naturally, what I would do is just let them fall where that, where it is, and the same when when placing them onto the blocks as well. Just let them go and then pick them up is probably the easiest way, rather than trying to position it and doing that and then go out of shape. Just let it naturally fall down and then pick up. It's probably the easiest thing, and that will probably also help you with the um, with them staying out of um with not getting out of shape if you leave them because if you think say if you leave them in the pot and they're slightly ajar this they're at a different shape then they're going to naturally they're going to bend out of shape but one good thing which they have done in the in the in here is that you have got the pictures which you can then stick them down and then over the top so you can then actually see to make sure you're actually getting the correct arch. So as a bit of a guide, I think say if you stick them in and they've gone in and they, if something's pushed it out of the way, then I think that they may, over time, go out of shape. But no, we haven't noticed that at all, that they are go, that they go out of shape afterwards. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do Flirty Flamingo for this last arch. And they're not meant to join together so that I think that helps yes they're 
yeah, they're not actually meant to look the same. So they're kind of like different arches, aren't they? They're kind of like they're all they're all kind of out of shape anyway, naturally, which I think then helps with that problem because if things do, then that way you're not trying to line things up so that it looks like they're not meant to match. So which is a good thing. So what I've got here is I've got Flirty Flamingo, and I'm going to do this as a second generation. Tommy, you can't sit on my lap. Okay, so second generation, and then we will then pop this one over like that. So we've got ourselves a lighter one right here. And then we're going to take some Magenta Madness. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... There's some dots in here. Grab myself a block. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Magenta Madness. And then I'm going to then stamp these dots onto a stamp. So I'm stamping on a stamp. What's it called? It's called the Kiss Technique. Okay, so we are doing that. Yes, yeah, so if you've never seen this, it's called a, the kiss technique. So we're just doing that. So I've stamped on a stamp. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little bit of a huff just to re-energise anything. And then I'm then going to then position this over the top again. And hopefully we can now transfer dots to our rainbow okay so if you want to which is why we've done a second generation in the flirty flamingo so it starts off lighter and then we've gone with a stronger color for the dots for the kiss technique so then that actually just transfers over and that's a way you can do that without then having to use any masking tape anything so yeah that's uh there's a lovely it's a lovely way of doing things it's a different way of doing things as well. So have a little, um, have a play with a kiss technique. The kiss technique works perfectly with solid stamps. So if you've got lots of solid stamps, you can do this technique with it. So I think it's, it's amazing. I think I need the other scrub. All right, so that's that done like that. So I'm just going to just pop my arches back for the time being. So I'm just going to carefully just pop these over the top. But they, they, they're quite flexible, these anyway. So if they do get this slightly out of shape, then it's not going to be a major issue, I don't think, personally. And that goes. And then one other one which I need to do is I need to take this one here because you've got a nice line for this one, which is here. We'll take that. And let's do this in the grey as we've got the grey right here. I'm going to take it in basic grey. Mini. You can do other colours, you know. I'm right here. I can help you. That's fine. <laughs> I will do basic grey and we're going to pop a basic grey at these lines. Just over the top of that like that. Pretty. Look at that, isn't that quite nice? Okay, so interesting. So yeah, you can play, you can have a play around with that. You can do, so you've got on here, you've got some of these hearts. You can do the kiss technique with these hearts on some of these solid ones. I think it'd be nice you've got these lines. Now, because being these lines are obviously big, any of these stamps are larger than these arches, it doesn't matter because if you're doing it, it's only going to transfer what ink is on here onto whatever is on here. So you can have a you have a play around. You've got the raindrops in it. So interesting. You can have a good old, yeah, just play with some techniques and see what happens. So that there is that card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that down like this. Okay. And I'm going to pop that onto some dimensionals. 
So I'm just going to grab myself some dimensionals right here. We're going to need quite a few on this just to make sure that we are completely stuck all the way around and we don't get a saggy middle. So, I'm kind of going to go like that. Are you laughing at me, Jay? Uh -huh. Saggy middle. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's wondering why we put these lines on our dimensionals, it's literally for what you can see right now. It's One, it's easy to actually see where I've put the dimensionals. And at a glance, it's easy to identify what ones I've taken the backing papers off, um, which is quite handy when you're using lots of dimensionals. And it makes it easier to find them on the table as well because they're white and you've got a lot of white paper on the table. And if you just look for some blue lines or whatever colour you've done, it's something with lines on it, you can find your dimensionals quite easily on your table. Right, so then that there is going to mat to stick on so I'm lining up with a score line at the top at the sides and round. So straight away it looks slightly different as well because obviously you've got you can see that it's something stuck over the top of it. And there we have it. So simple, all we need to do simply on this one now is to pop a sentiment on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the amazing thanks dies right here. And I'm going to cut the thanks twice in gold and, <laughs> and in vellum. And... Jay brought me over all of the stuff, but he didn't actually bring me over. Oh no, I've got the I've got, I've got the mini. I've got the mini. I can use the mini. I thought you knew Well that. done, I did. Oh, nearly, I thought stuff has sabotaged me again. <laughs> me never. Hmm, whatever. <laughs> all right, so we've got the mini. I'm going to use my plates right here, and I'm going to run through. Let's just give myself a little bit of room because I'm realising you can't actually see what I'm doing because I've got so much rubbish on the table. So let's cut the thanks out first in the gold foil. If you can get it to run through, why? Thanks, right there. And then we're going to do the same thing in the vellum. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Um, yeah, because there is the solid one, but I'm just going to do it in the vellum because we're going to we're going to treat this like a bit like a drop shadow. People are getting snow. Snow? Who's getting snow? In America. Oh. <laughs> I got excited then. No. I want a snow day. No. Lovely. All right, so there we have it. So that there is those two pieces. So we've got the two, we've got the vellum here, and we've got the gold vellum. Sorry, we've got the gold foil right there. So what we're going to do on this, what would have been easier, again, to have done, is if I had actually cut these out using the self-adhesive sheets. Um, as always, I always forget. So we are going to um, a little bit of glue. On these, if I do this on a bit of, on this as well. You know what, I've got the self, well, I did have this, yeah, like this. 
No, I'm going to do it my way here because that's fine. Sorry, I'm changing my mind all the time here. So a little bit of glue. I'm just got to be very careful with the glue when I'm doing this because I want to keep it to the left hand, right hand side of the lettering because I'm going to offset it. You'll see in a moment what I mean. I'm going to kind of go along. Oh, that one's wrong. That's fine. It's glue. It will dry clear anyway. And then what we would do is I'm just going to then stick this on and kind of just offset it. So it's creating like this drop shadow in vellum. So can you kind of see what that's gone and done right there? So you can see I've gone, so, so if you wanted the drop shadow to be on the right hand side, we would pop the glue more on the left hand side of the lettering because I want the drop shadow to be on the, on this side, I've gone on the right hand side of the lettering. Does that make sense? So that makes sense for you. So if you want to know, that's how you then do a little bit of a drop shadow drop use, like, it's hot. like some with some vellum. Or you can do some of that with a different colour like with black. That will really make that pop off of that page if you did it with some black. Um, or you can use the solid dies, which is this one right here, which will go all the way around it. So it will give you a shadow. It will give you a whole shadow around it like I did for my Fun Fold Friday, which I used that one. To be fair, Previously. that is the outline. Oh, is that the outline? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you know what? I didn't... Because it actually blended in, Jay... Okay, Jay has actually done, told him this is the outline. But I didn't put it in the middle. No, he didn't. He's, uh, he's offset it. So the way that I've done it... Okay, so that's a different way. So you can use the solid one, which Jay has done on his one. But I've done it as a drop shadow, like that. It looks better. Yeah. And then that there is going to go... Get stuck down like no, that. I like that colors. Yeah. Or we can go in the middle like that. We're going to go to the side like that. Kind of want to go there because I've got a little bit of a mark down here. But I think we're going to we'll stick it there. That mark is just going to be part of it. So we would end up. Carefully place some glue on the back of all of this now. So on these lettering. Oh, and drop it down with the glue down face down. It's always the way, isn't it? And then we'll stick that. Like so. so you probably just saw just a moment ago I brought the blue one in so this was Jay's original one which was the blue and we just changed it up and then we just kind of made it and we kind of changed it so into the more of the pink colours and I think that works quite nicely now Jay has done something with the um, with some of the vellum right here I think he's just cut himself a, he's just been, you know, what, you know what he's like, he's just done a, a bit of a weird, wonky, rectangle type of thing, like that, it looks like, see this is what the casing is, I'm looking at it going to self right, what's he gone and done, it looks like he's gone and cut it. It doesn't have to be the same size. No, it doesn't have to be the same size, but we've got a bit of a weird kind of like wonky bit of vellum which we're going to pop up the top right here i'm assuming he's probably put that down with some um glue and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab myself some of the twine right here so this here is the baker's twine essential pack so i'm because i'm going to be because this is quite goldy and yellow i think i'm going to use the very vanilla one on yeah, this one I would use that because I think it keeps it, it's more in keeping with this. Right, let's, let's see whether or not I can tie a tiny bow. So have you stuck that down with vellum, with Just glue, Just one Jay? dot of glue. 
behind the, where the where the where yeah. the thing is going to be. So we're just going to pop a little splodge of glue, kind of like in the center like that. That then is going to then get popped down over on the corner like this. So that can then be drying up whilst we're doing that. But it doesn't matter because that is where we're going to put the glue dot and we're going to pop this, the ribbon on this one, the bow. So let's see how I can do it. I can tie bows with this one quite easily. I think it's just whether or not I can get the get it to look nice. I always get a bit of a wonky, a wonky loop. And it's all how I tie it, but so why are you laughing at he's laughing at me again. When did no when said every time I've used the marvelous DSP I've had Jay's voice singing material girls up <laughs> <laughs> That's Barry's fault. My fault. Satin sheety. Satin Okay, let's not go down that route again. It is a lovely paper. So I just want to make sure my ears are nice. My bunny ears. See, I get a wonky ear. How do you get a nice... It's, it's how I twist the bow. It's how, how I twist the ribbon. It's got to be how I twist it. Yeah. Um, when doing it, but you know what, we're it's gonna. Just it's not as easy as that. I tend to hold the loop and then pull pull the ends off, but it looks fine. And that's where the mini glue dot comes in. Ah, uh, yeah. Well. So we've got one nice loop, and then we've got a we've got a weird loop. Um, we will grab ourselves some glue dots right here and did you say it's half a glue dot? Yeah, I cut it in half. <laughs> this is a J thing, cut glue dots in half. Well, so you don't have to fold it because otherwise the glue dot will show. It will, so we're going to cut glue dot in half carefully take that away from the ribbon so we've got half a glue dot so this is what you want to do um we will take you take your pick tool grab that half pop that over your glue which you had which is um which was on your vellum there and then you then want to then take this and then stick this over the top like that. Wow. And then yeah, you, like Jay said, you can kind of use that glue dot to help do things and there we have card number one so you saw the um i'll bring in the original one with jay which jay did which was that one right there which is in the blues and we've got a lovely one here which is in the pinks and the yellows and the golds which i think is lovely amazing well jay's laughing at me why are you laughing at me Nothing. So there we go. There is card number one with a few techniques on your very quite a simple card, but you've got the te te techniques, the techniques um, with the stamping off. So doing your second generation stamping, and then you've got your kiss technique, which is what we've done on this one here. Drop shadow technique as well, using that one, or you could have done what Jay done and made it completely easier and actually done the, used the whole die to its full capacity and actually used the whole drop shadow all the way around it. It's just that I didn't quite see it that side. I only saw it as a drop shadow here. And, um, yeah, cut your glue dots in half.
That's why we never get rid of any of our stuff because Jay just well, plays. I know, actually, glue, 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 glue dots is something we get, we get through. Well, Jay gets through an awful lot of is glue dots. So lovely. So I'm just going to reset. So chat amongst yourselves. What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sue. Stop laughing at me, Jay. I'm not laughing at you. That's it. Thank you for sticking up for me. All I can hear in the background is little sniggers. So. Better than me sulking. Hmm. <laughs> yes. It's just say if you didn't hear that, so it's better than him sulking, which yes, is. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the giggles any day. Because Christ, the psych is not a psych. Sulk is not good. <laughs> so <coughs> lovely. Let's pop that away like that, and then we're going to move on to card number two, which um, I don't know what I'm actually it's doing on again floor. on this one here. It's on the floor. Okay. So, shall I sh do you want to see it first, or shall I show it to you later on? Let's. Um, I'll show it to you later. All right. So. I just need to get some stamp sets away because they are going to get in the way. So on this particular one right here, I think I'm going to need the medium. I'm going to need that one there. And I'm also going to need the small one right there. And yes. I think that is all I need from that at the moment, and I think I'm going to need a sentiments, which is okay. You straightened that one out. Interesting. Okay, so and we're going to be using the sentiment from that one, but I will do that one afterwards. All right. So, card number two. I just need to get rid of all of this. Um, Sorry. Rubbish. Sorry. <laughs> That's I, your challenge. You have to make something with those. I can make the inside of the bin look pretty. <laughs> That's no. what I can make. That's BSP. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like that response, actually. Make something pretty with that. I can make the inside of my bin very pretty with the leftover DSP. No. <laughs> okay, so we have got a few things going on right here. Um cardstock colors which i've got is going to be coastal cabana pool party and whisper white okay i'm going to be using this lovely um the frayed ribbon right here again so the white um frayed ribbon some of the dyes the rainbow and yes rainbow of happiness dyes and we're going to have some gems going on like this so Jay has kindly gone ahead and gone and pre-cut the stuff for me, so that it might layers, which is very kind of him. And we're going to be using the different. So is this the same paper as well it from is. this? It's from the again. This is the paper from the sunshines and rainbows. Sunshines and rainbows paper pack. So again, you've got some really nice bright colours in here, which is perfect for rainbows. Okay. So we've got Coastal Cabana, we've got this, which I think is going to be like a soft sea foam is what it looks like. Let's have a little look. So if you're ever unsure of what colours are in there, on the front packs of your designer series paper, you get like this little recipe card. So in here, we, it, the, the colours which make up this pack are Bermuda Bay, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Soft Sea Foam, and So Saffron. So that is an indication on how you can then maybe make up your... Your, your choices. So we've got ourselves Coastal Cabana and then we're going to go with the Soft Sea Foam Designer Series paper right here. Um, we are going to try a technique. Now I've not done this technique before so I'm interested to see how this is going to work out. And I'm not sure if it's going to, how it's going to work out on this paper actually Jay either because it might be quite light. No, but we will see what happens. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a technique here where we're going to take our craft white card i've got myself a bit of scrap paper which we can then just pop this down do you want a new one no it should be all right i don't it shouldn't interfere with it no it so what we're going to do is i'm going to do a bit of a pouncing technique so have you re-inked this recently as well 
or is this just, just a goat? Yeah. yeah, I think there's a lot in. Yeah, it does feel like there's quite a lot in there. So I'm just going to go on and I'm going to pounce on my card. And I'm just going to no, and that's really really. Yeah, I thought you just can you add it more. Okay, I need to take a lot of this off. Okay, so I'm going to waste a lot of ink here at the moment. Um, I may actually need to have. You just kept adding. I did. I, said, I didn't realise it was going to be that. Okay, so if you're doing this, you don't need that as much ink as what I've just gone and um, you need to. Yeah, I put far too much ink. See, this, how much ink is going on this? Use that as your thing. That's fine. You pounce it, but lightly, like it's just touching. Okay. Yeah. Because if you're if you're putting that on there, you're gonna have purple now on your thing. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll go with it. So I'm just gonna pounce lightly, lightly. and all we're gonna do is just kind of distress these edges a little bit over here and just randomly come in but I'm just lightly kind of like lightening this end part here now it works better I think on the dark card on the on the dark one but I think it ha it add hints of um, texture and yeah. interest onto the paper so it's not just purely paper yeah it's just it's a it's another it's another layer and it's another element so and it's, it kind of will pull this in because we're kind of trying to make the focus go into the middle of the card. So by lightening this down, we're kind of creating a bit of a, a natural kind of like vignette. So and this is kind of what... Huh? Sorry? Vinaigrette. <laughs> Vinaigrette. A vignette. All right, so we're just going on. Now, Craft White does dry lighter anyway, so we're just going to go over this a little bit and just kind of just pounce away until we're kind of happy with the desired effects. But it's a nice way of, like I say, diffusing this cardstock without actually taking away from any of the actual lovely pattern which you've got underneath. Now, it's, it's, it shows up better in, I think, in person. And we're just going to distress this. Right, we will see what happens with that one as that dries. So I'm just going to pop that to one side for the moment. All right. And that can go in the bin. Just going to pop this away into our, our dauber caddy now if anyone's wondering there's something you can, you can get things like this off of ebay if you look for your dauber caddies it's quite tricky though, i think to get them without any daubers inside of them um we we were lucky enough i think we this come with five of their own and the rest was completely empty when we got it but we got it at a craft fair quite a few years ago but they're really quite handy for storing your daubers so amazon i think i know amazon do things like that so what we're going to do now is we are going to do this and I am going to grab my rainbow and I'm going to turn my card over and I'm just going to then, doesn't really matter what colour I stamp this in because we're going to do some cutting. So I'm just going to then... Maybe it does matter what colour I do it in, but because it's um, because let's um, okay. I just need to do that again for a moment. Now, it, because it's the back, don't worry about that. I'm not worried about that because I'm just going to wipe that off because it's the back of the um, it's the back of the foil. Because we haven't, we, we're going to fussy cut this out. All right, so I just need to use an ink which isn't going to be as poor, as as wet as that, just to give me a, just to give me a line to cut. So let's use some black, just to 
give me a rough line. That's better. It doesn't matter that it hasn't done it. It's just, some, it's just to give me a guide. And I'm just going to have to let that dry for a moment before I cut that one out. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and just let that dry off. I do have a heat tool here, actually, which I can actually... actually I'll, I'll do that first. I've got a heat tool. I'll just heat set this, just so it's a bit easier to cut out. Okay. And Jay's also just said to me as well, maybe just to heat set the white, just to make this thing, because the white does take a long time to dry. So just give it a helping hand with the heat tool. Just will just help that along just a little bit. So what we've got here is I've just going to heat set the back of this one just so it's going to be easier for me to cut. All right, and we're just going to fussy cut this out. So what's everyone been saying? Jay, anything um, coming up? I see cats just popped in. Hi, yeah. cats. We have recent joiners, Kat, Kathy, Angie, Renee, um, Mandy Allen, Louise, Holly, Angie, uh, Jackie, Danette, Ina, Nola, Kathy S, Denise. Teresa and Kathy as well and Sarah Ryan. Lovely, thank you all so much for joining us. And everyone uh, says lovely card, love the card. Uh, you did a great job, Barry. Good, and thank Jay for that one there because it's his design, so I'm just um <laughs> stamping to said you are you aren't gonna earn the incentive of cutting glue that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, are we? <laughs> You, I didn't want it to go really high. <laughs> so, we have got ourselves a golden. Well, say I'm going to say we have got ourselves half a half a um, a gold rainbow. Just be careful with what I say there. Um, so then, what we're going to do is now that's heat set. All right, I'm just going to clean clean this one right here for the time being because again, that's got that black ink on it. Remember. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the next one down and we are going to stamp this one here in what color do you want me to stamp this one in jay because you gave me pool party and um so the middle one i would say that one is the darker one. Oh, there is a second oh, okay and i didn't then, know oh, this yeah yeah okay so we're going to go with Coastal Havana, middle. I didn't see that there was a third one in there as well. Where did I put the stamp set? There was the small one. Which I missed. So we're going to do the small one here in the lightest colour, which will be in Pool Party. Which is really juicy, isn't it? I think I over juice them. Yeah, I think you do over ink. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to. I think can you? I'm gonna. Need, can you clean that please? Uh -huh. Once that's. Um, do you need tissue? Only because only because he's over inked the ink pad. Though. I can use a chamois actually. So if you've got if you have over inked your um if you've got a lot of excess ink and you're getting this bubbling going on like so like that. You can always just move the ink around to one, side. to one side and then you can then stamp and then you're going to get yourself a 
slightly better image okay so it's just another way you can go you're not wasting any of the ink it's still there so it will then over time it will then start to distribute and move itself around again but if you do have those problems then just move it around with your bone folder and we're going to then stamp that in the middle around about there okay Alrighty. so we just use the can you make it blue that chummy <laughs> back to blue not back to black no i don't <laughs> think i think it has gone past um uh, yeah i think it has gone past its thing but it still works it still does its job and then we are going to then take our coastal cabana and we're then going to then do that on the next one and the copa and then we're going to then pop that one over the top of this one like so and then we are then going to then take the gold rainbow which i have got we're going to grab ourselves some mini if i had any mini dimensionals i Did would actually there? no there's no you've, you've left me an empty packet because it's just all the ends well you can cut the stump in dimensional oh, I I can. do you want some mini I can no that's mini. fine i will just because jay's used up all of the dots i'm gonna have to use all of these right here but yeah so use up everything so what you would do is just and then I'm just going to pop these around the arch like so be careful though because obviously there is ink on that and it is going to be wet so it will transfer to your fingers if you're not careful so to just be aware of that one yeah I, I found the normal ink um, memento is slightly different than um the dye-based ink, the dye-based uh, dried. It did it really. Yeah. Okay. On, the, on my first Yeah, one. so just be careful with that, depending on what ink you're using. Um, but obviously, if it could potentially transfer over some ink over onto your um, fingers, which then could then go over onto your nice cards. So just be something to be aware of. We've all done it, I'm sure. And then we're then going to then pop this over the top like that. Okay. So that there is that part done. Let's just move that to one side. So now what we want to do is we want to grab the dies from the from the set right here. And in here you have got these clouds. So we're going to cut these clouds here in. Um, we've got a variety of colours going on here. So what colour do we want the clouds Light. in? Light. Lightest, so that one there. Dark. Dark, that one there. And then the medium. And then the sentiment on the yep. medium. Okay, cool. All right. So Jay has just um, done that. So we're going to go with the clouds on the lightest. So it's got some lovely clouds in there. We are then going to then use this border one here on the darkest and then I'm going to then do the sentiment on the on the medium one all right so let's pop that all to one side what we can do though is first actually is whilst we've got this we can then go ahead and we can go and mat and layer this on do we need any more white edge now I think we're fine for the white edge and it's just enough just it's to just see it hint. it's just yeah, a hint isn't fine. it so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this part to the Mat and let so I can mat and layer this up, and then that can then be getting nice and stuck whilst we move on to the next part. 
So remember, if you would like to win these cards, all you need to do, if you'd like to win the first card, which I made, then obviously if you popped a comment in, then please just say hi. If you haven't popped a comment in yet, just say hi, just anything. And we will then pick a name randomly at the end of this. If you'd like to win this card, which I'm making right now, then do come back in and pop a comment below the video or wherever it is. And then we will then pick that at the beginning of our next video on Wednesday. All right. And then that's going to then get stuck to the front of that card like so. So let's, let's leave that to one side for a moment. We're going to do some cutting now. So we're going to cut these lovely clouds out. So I'm going to bring in our mini. I gave you the large one instead. I think it'll be easier. Okay. So I'm just going to cut myself out these clouds here first. Oh, how have you done? Sorry, I've got to ask you again, Jay. What have you done with these? You're going to go with light with the, with the what was the grey, wasn't you? What have you done with the ribbon? Adhesive sheet on yeah. basic white. On basic white. Yeah, and then lay the ribbon on. Okay. And then cut. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Unless you can think of either one. No. So I'm going to take out a couple of these clouds right here. I know you can't see they're off camera slightly at the moment, but I do. So what I've gone ahead, I'm just going to cut myself out these four clouds right there. All right. Then I'm going to then take the detailed one this one right here and I'm just going to cut myself a little strip of this one this will get cut down but I'm just going to cut myself a little strip so this is where all the elements on this come together so so we've got that part right there okay pop that to one side and then we have got the sentiment part. So I'm just going to come back to the die cutting in a second because it's something I just need to prepare and get ready. So we can get this one ready right here. So we will have just used three of these like that. And then we'll just snip this down. Like so. so that's going to go onto our card somewhere in a moment. We've got these lovely clouds which we've just got to cut. Somewhere under the rainbow. Right here. Okay. Which are going to go around over on these parts. So we'll do that one in a second. Now another technique which Jay has done so nicely is we're going to grab ourselves some of this white. We're going to use some of these adhesive sheets. Is that why you bought so the big one? Because I've got more pressure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's going to run through <laughs> much in better. All right. So what we're going to do is we are just going to, and they're the same clouds, are they as well? Yeah. So it's yes. The, the large, large one, one and the small one. And one of the small ones right yeah. there. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to then just snip off a little bit of this right here, which is the same size as my. And we're going to then, so remember the adhesive sheet is on this side here. So we will just stick this on that. Okay. And then, if I remember correctly, he's now peeled this off. So I'm just gonna now peel the backing off. This isn't kind of how you would use these. You would you would now run this through and do some die cutting first, and then peel the backing off. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna peel the backing off first, which is leaving, which is leaving now a glue adhesive onto this. We're gonna grab some ribbon and. This is 
that's an interesting technique which Jay has done here when we're going so if anyone can think of another way of doing this it'd be great and then we're going to stick the ribbon to the adhesive sheet all right so very very interesting then what we're going to do is we're then going to then die cut two of these now it's pro it's not going i don't think it's going to cut this um all the way through but it's going to give it enough of an indentation that we can then fussy cut and then go around with the outside of it so which so we're going to use the big machine because we've got more pressure on the larger machine here and we're going to then just go through pop those in like that and then die cut. And we go backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make sure they are cutting through quite nicely. So there's lots of techniques to this. So again, what looks to be a relatively simple card is very technique heavy. So you can see there, it's cut round. We've got enough of an indentation on the back which we can cut through because I don't think that, that hasn't cut through the ribbon enough for me to actually pop it out. It has cut through the paper. Or it's indented the paper. So, but it's got enough there that I'm happy that I can then just grab my scissors right now and I can then cut through these and kind of get a bit of a... And it's, it's easy because the... Cause there is a cut already here, so it is. It's, it's you're just guiding this. And then. It kind of almost wants to naturally. Just, you're just helping it through that ribbon. So that's one. This is a cool technique. I would never have thought of doing this. See, it has actually cut through it quite nice. It has cut through it enough. Just need a bit of a helping hand. Yeah. And I think it's going to also, with the ribbon side of things, it will fray the ribbon as well. So you'll get like a bit of a distressed edge on that. So that's another use for your adhesive. Your adhesive um, sheets. There we have it, and then we have ourselves some fluffy, fluffy clouds. Look at that. So I think that's quite a cool, that's a nice little, um, nice little way. I just want to tidy that ribbon up a little bit that side there. That's gone a little bit too fluffy. Give it a little bit of a trim, a little bit of a haircut. I was going to scrunch up the, um, the thread that comes off of that, but I thought it was going to be too much <laughs> <laughs> to make a fluffy cloud. So there we have it. That's some nice fluffy clouds for you. Let's bring that up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see that again. Right there. So it's another, it's another cool way, I think, of using up your, your ribbon. Your, so yeah, it's so good. All right, so it's a matter now of just doing some sentiment. I'm going to get the sentiment part done, and then I'm going to then construct. So I'm going to take my stamp set again right here. Now, inside this sentiment, inside the stamp set, you have got these sentiments, which are here. Okay, I'm going to write to an eight. Let's stick them onto the front for now. which is that one. And what we're gonna do is we are going to, have you really just stretched it out, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're going to Stretch that arch out to make a straight as possible sentiment. All right, 
it will be fine for the time being whilst we're doing this so don't worry about that at the moment and then what we're going to do is i'm going to grab myself some right. versamark i'm going to grab myself from, so i'm just going to So I'm just going to prime my um, my card just to make sure I get rid of any greasy fingerprint marks. All right, so that's that one. Now I only want sending you a rainbow is what we're going to do. I am inking up more than that, but that's fine. So it doesn't matter that the end part is going a bit skew with. But we're going to go send in your rainbow is what we want mainly. Going to do that. Grab yourself a little bit of scrap paper once again. And then we will then use ourselves some white embossing powder on this. So hopefully you're learning a few techniques this evening or during this video. All right, so we've got sending you a rainbow here and I'm gonna heat set this one right now. So that's gone from a nice powder to a nice melted part. And then we would then just pop that back into its natural its natural shape for the time being. All right, so I'm just gonna grab myself some snips right here and we're just going to then just snip off the end part. Again, we're gonna go, we're not gonna try and make this as straight as possible. We're just gonna just snip it through. I will make it as straight as I can, but I'm not gonna go, we're gonna, what, we, what do we say? Let's see who can come up with it. Who can answer the, what, what is it? We are gonna embrace something. <laughs> so that there is our sentiment. We will take a little bit of the white, which will then go behind that, which we're gonna, gonna pop in at a bit of a bit of an angle but we would then we would then snip that down so I've got all of my elements here now I'm gonna use our lovely thing right there to make sure we don't lose those dies so I've got all of my elements right now embrace the wonk thank you Krista All right, so we will stick this one down onto the straight onto the card base that's had plenty of time now to get nice and stuck on that. So stick that down onto your card base. See, I've, I've enjoyed casing these. Obviously, these are Jay's original original design on this, but I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed casing it because it's been done and I'm, I'm playing I'm playing with different techniques and I'm gonna make a lovely card at the end of it as well so it's it's just a lovely so don't be scared to don't be scared to copy um, copy and share copy copy and selectively edit whatever you want to call it so we're just going to now stick some of these rainbows around on these clouds so I'm just going to do it the same way I am going to copy J on this one Goes round like that so I'm going to stick two here on the end of these rainbow I probably on that one will need a glue dot I reckon because that might stick a little bit better I've done a J where's my glue dot it's in front of because they're not in the box it is in front of me <laughs> I can use the other half, hey. I think that's what I did. <laughs> so 
So that half, which we had earlier on, can go down the bottom down here. Just to see. Because, again, the problem with using glue when on the foil is that it doesn't stick straight away. It will, it will do eventually, but you need that instant stick. Okay. So we can use that one at the bottom like that. And... I'm not going to cut a half, a half on this one here. We can have a whole full glue dot for this next one. Special. Okay, which can go down there like so. And we will then do that like so. All right, let's get the sentiment part all sorted. Um, so that's that and I'm just gonna kind of go so I'm kind of I'm just kind of put this on that bit of a slant on here as well so we can pop a little bit of glue and by doing this as well, by casing this card, one of Jay's cards, is that I'm doing techniques and I'm doing things I wouldn't ordinarily do with my card making. I wouldn't be doing any of these stuff. I wouldn't have thought about doing that. I wouldn't be going with this wonky, wonky donkey sentiment. Um, so, i trying to cut that a little bit too. I wouldn't be doing that. So it's a great way of taking you out of your comfort zone when you case other work, other people's work as well. So we're just going to do that. So you can see I've just got that one there at a slight angle. Like so, I do just need to pop a little bit more glue. Sorry, it's taking a we're in for a long, long haul this evening. Sorry, <laughs> battery didn't take that long. <laughs> no, I didn't realize that there were so many elements to it, but I've enjoyed it, so hopefully, you've enjoyed it as well. So that one there is then going to go over the top, but then we have also got this part which we are going to then stick kind of underneath like that so we will have this one there slide that one underneath those clouds a bit of a wonk going on like that and that one there is then going to go on top. So we're going to pop that onto some dimensionals. Um, if I knew where I'd put them again. Oh my god, I'm doing a J. Can't find is that anything. Just me? If I find it. Oh no, you found it. Oh, Mandy, I ran. <laughs> just so I could find it, but too late. So we will stick, I think, more in the middle on this one right here because I don't want it to interfere with this um, this cloud right here. So we're gonna stick this on first and then we will then finish off with the last little bit of Get your name saved. That's quite I might have to actually do a double a, no, I can I'll squish it down. That's fine. It would go in, so that's going to go in like that. I do just need to, if I can, just try and get that one down a little bit. Remember, it was on a glue dot, so I can manipulate it a little bit so it comes down a fraction. So that's that one there. I've got my other fluffy cloud, which I can now stick with some just normal glue. On the back, I remember it's it's bam. It was it was basic white on the back of that one there, so which works quite nicely. So that can sit over there like that. 
we grab one of these other ones. Which can go down like so. And then we will then finish off with one more over here. Over on the end parts. Like that there. Then to finish off, now I'm going to ask Joe, have we got any other, do you reckon we've got any other gems, do you reckon, which may, I think we do that. Are they day rhymes? Do you reckon? Or what about these, no, those rocks won't work. Or the, um, the iridescent one? The twinkly one. <laughs> the twinkly one. So we've got holiday rhinestones, which may work on that one there. Yeah. So these ones here, which may work. And what else have we got? The twinkly ones. What's he on about with the twinkly ones? What, those ones there? No. Oh, no. that one could work, or that one. Ah, uh, those ones, the iridescent rhinestones right there. Ooh, okay. Pole. <laughs> no, we're fine, we're fine. We will go, okay, let's do a quick poll. Iridescent rhinestones or holiday rhinestones? Let me know quickly. First poll of the evening and last one of the evening. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to stick a couple of these ones around and then we are finished for tonight. So, and like I say, if you want to win this card, do come back in and pop another comment in underneath the thing. Yep, yeah. yeah, it's up there. We keep it open for a couple of stuff, not long, so get you could get your results in quickly. So do hit that poll. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. Sorry we've been on for an hour. Well, we were we were about ten minutes late getting in anyway. So, um, such is good. So, so thank you very much. 18 votes come in right now. I'm gonna. I think we will end that one straight away very quickly. There. I think it's quite a clear winner. That it is the iridescent rhinestones. 87 percent at the time of me picking. So we will use these ones here. And then what we're gonna do is we are just going to grab some of these iridescent rhinestones right here, and I'm gonna use some of the. the medium and the small ones around. And voila, there we have tonight's card. What do you think? Do you like it? Fabulous. It is fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to show you the original one now, which was Jay's one, which was in the blue, which is that one right there. So you can see there, the white that white pouncing technique worked better, I think, on the darker paper because it is more, it, it shows more. But on this one here, it's just given a bit of a lighter. It's just it's kind of giving it a lighter. It shows up more in person. So the person who wins this one there will see this one there. It does show up a little bit more. So there we have it. That there is the original, and that one there is the one we've just done for you live tonight. And along with the first two cards, or the first card, which was that one there, which the original was in the blue. So what do you think? Have you enjoyed, do you like, do you like it? I've, I've enjoyed doing that because I've learned a few techniques. So even though we've already, the cards have already been made, I haven't made them and I've learned some new techniques. Obviously I haven't done the pouncing, I haven't done the, um, the kiss technique for a long time. Um, I've not done this um, this ribbon effect on this one right here. It's something I've never done before. So yeah, really, really nice. I've enjoyed playing with those and I hope you have enjoyed watching them as well. But what we're going to do now is we are going to quickly get the draw ready. We are going to then pick a winner for this card right here. And whilst we're doing that, I'm sure Jay has got something to talk to you about or show you um, as yes, well. Yes, I do. Well, yes. I'll come in. <laughs> I think we've got lots of names in this evening, Did haven't we? We've got, lot, we've got so lots watching. and lots of names coming in there. Is there any last minute names which you want to add to the list uh, there, Jane? No, I think I have everyone. We've got everyone in. Let's double check. Uh, Kathy so. Sanford. Connie, uh, Kathy Dan. 
No, I think Michelle Dadson, I think, is new. Well, there's yeah. Michelle there. Do you want to just add her name to the list and then I'll... Yeah. I will do it. So, Michelle, it looks like you are going to be the last one added. Good, done. good. All right, so that's that. So we're going to pick our winner. There we go. Right, I'll come over. Michelle, you are the last one in. Okay, so good. Let's get that one ready, and then we will then pick a winner. Wow, there's lots and lots of names. All right, so while Spar's doing that, I'll share the other cards that was from the gentleman for it. Crafters Design Team Blog Hop. So again, this one is the actual, um, the simple one, but stepped up with the fussy cutting of the third uh, arc. Um, and that is the thread from the frayed ribbon. So that is on the blog and Brenton is on the blog hop as well, which is, um, he's Yes, was the first one as well, well, wasn't it, Brenton? So I did a quick um, kiss technique with the amazing silhouettes and wow. the hearts from the rainbow of happiness so just uh, in soft saffron and pumpkin pie so you can use the as Barry said solid stamp and then add details on there and um just a quick that can be a quick topper with the sentiment yeah, sim on there how simple is that um and a ribbon just underneath and this and that <laughs> <laughs> And that can be a topper already. So simple stamping with a bit of technique, I thought. But I wanted to sh share the um, the kissing technique again. And another card with this one, I don't know what it's for, but uh, it's another card with the- It's for me, obviously. Amazing thanks. And uh, the rainbow of happiness. You notice he didn't dies. say anyone there, everyone. Yeah. I just want to know that he didn't say that uh, when that card is for me. <laughs> Moving on. Yes, so I, I I just wanted to create a card including uh, the stamp set and the dice together, which we both uh, which we used um, tonight. Cool. So good, lovely. All right, so we're going to pick a winner for this one right here, right now. So let's go over to the that wheel. one. The wheel. Who's excited for the wheel? <laughs> let's go from there. So right. we are up. We have got good I luck, have 54 everyone. names in this evening. So good luck. So did I click it? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be from the wheel of hey, Angie. Angie? Excellent, Angie. If you want to please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com um, with today's date, 16th of January 2022, and your full mailing address. And we will pop. You're on, we are on, oh, on okay. camera now. Um, we will pop that card in the post to you. <laughs> Oh, a slightly embarrassed bows. <laughs> he said yes. he said bows. Yeah, bows. That one. <laughs> Your bunny ears. My bunny it, ears. It's a nice um tiny one though, so that's good. Yes. Lovely. But come <laughs> come back and pop in a comment for this card. Um Wednesday? Yes, yes Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> I love this one. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I like the colour choice in it as well. Yeah. So well done with that one. It's good. Cool. So, excellent. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for sitting in for this feature length, um, movie length. <laughs> like we should have we should have been supplying popcorn for you this evening, but I do apologise. <sighs> um, but thank you all so much for staying with us. Hello. Hello. Say Aww. hi. Cool. Excellent. All right. So have a good day, everyone. Thank you all so much. And we will be back with you again on Wednesday, same time, same place. Hopefully for about an hour. Hopefully not very late. Yes. All right. Take care, everyone. See Take you soon. Care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.